Here is the next example. In this example, he is asking us to find the power consumed in 8 ohm resistor, 8 ohm resistor is right here. So first thing I noticed, the given circuit is in time domain. We need to convert the time domain into frequency domain. And another thing I noticed is this is a current source. Okay, it's a sinusoidal waveform still. Omega value is 2. So first step we need to do uh, is we need to convert the given circuit into frequency domain. When you convert the circuit into frequency domain, make sure to use the RMS value. So the current here I equal to 4 over square root 2 I RMS equal to I maximum over square root 2. For a sinusoidal waveform, that's the conversion, which is 4 over square root 2 is 2.8 3 at an angle of 0 because I don't have any angle here. Whatever the angle you have to after 2t, that's the angle we're going to write down here. Okay, uh, and convert the given circuit into frequency domain. So here is the circuit after converting into um, frequency domain. Okay, so the mutual inductance here has 2 Henry when I convert this into ohms, J4 ohms. Um, and another mutual inductance 4 Henry which is J8 ohms okay so omega is 2 XL is omega L so based on that everything is converted into ohms now loop 1 I'm going to take all three loops loop 1 loop 2 so loop 1 I'm going to take that as I1 loop 2 I2 and loop 3 I3 okay now do we need to apply KC KVL in loop 1 so when it when you look at loop 1 there is a current source in the outer branch of that loop so what is the current flowing here you are assuming the current flowing in this branch as I1 but I already know the real current flowing in the branch is 2.83 amperes so my I1 equal to 2.83 at an angle of 0 this is my first equation I don't need to write all the loop equations in that loop even if i have a mutual inductance say if i have a coil here and there is a mutual inductance between these two still my i1 is going to be 2.83 at an angle of zero okay now i'm going to come to the loop two so when it comes to loop two up uh, we need to apply kvl so for sure because there is no current source in that uh, any outer branch so here according to my i2 direction that's positive and negative positive and negative and positive and negative okay that's it now i'll talk about the mutual inductance let me write down the uh, self-induced voltages so here i'm going to start with j10 so j10 times i2 plus minus j2 times i2 minus i1 plus j6 times i2 minus i3 those are the three terms now we have mutual inductance now because of this mutual inductance okay because of the current flow here there is an induced emf here let me write it down so this is j6 so across J6, because of the mutual inductance, so because of the current flow in in L2, because of the current flow in L2, there is an induced EMF here. And because of the current flow in L3, there is, there is an induced EMF across 6 ohms. So let me see. So current L2 is going towards down, okay? And that current is entering the dot so the dotted terminal must be positive I have the dotted terminal there so my E1 is going to be right there this is positive and that's negative what is the E1 value uh, the mutual inductance between these two is J8 times I2 that's my E1 okay so I will end up having E1 right there which is J8 times I2 which terminal is, I mean, is this negative or positive? Across, if you look at L1, I have positive there, positive and negative, positive and negative. But your E1 end up having a negative there, so we have to subtract it, that voltage. Now, 
same thing because of the current flowing here i assume this current is i3 induced emf across this l1 let me label that as e2 what is that value e2 equal to j4 the mutual inductance between these two is j4 times i3 now the current here is so the dot is here current is leaving the dot so the dot terminal must be negative so i will end up with the negative there and positive there because current is i3 is leaving the dot so the dot terminal must be negative so i will end up with e2 as so am i going to have plus or minus here it must be plus j4 times i3 now because of the current flowing in l1 there is an induced emf across this what is the current flowing here i'm taking this as i2 minus i3 so my i2 minus i3 is leaving the dot so the dot terminal must be negative okay so i'm going to label that as e3 what is e3 value e3 equal to j8 the mutual inductance is a j8 j8 times i2 minus i3 so e3 equal to am i going to make it as plus or minus it must be minus because these two signs are opposite so minus j8 times i2 minus i3 equal to zero let me write down the simplified equation so here plus j2 i1 so and when it comes to i2 plus j2 j10 i2 minus j2 i2 plus j6 i2 minus j8 i2 and minus j8 i2 so plus 16 minus 16 all end up to minus j2 i2 when it comes to i3 part i have minus j6 i3 plus j4 i3 plus j8 i3 so 12 minus 6 so plus j6 i3 equal to 0 this is my second equation okay um let me write down the third equation loop 3 apply kvl 3 apply kvl okay so here let me write down loop 3 uh, draw the loop 3 here so according to my loop 3 current direction so i'm going to write the kvl here j4 times i3 first i'm going to draw the individual voltages or self-induced voltages or voltage drop across the resistors so j4 i3 plus 8 i3 plus j6 i3 minus i2 plus 4 times i3 minus i1 okay now mutual inductances so because of the current flowing in j6 i think i labeled this as l1 l2 because of the current flowing in l1 there is an induced emf across l3 okay what is that induced emf current the current i'm assuming here i'm taking that as i3 minus i2 so i3 minus i2 is entering the dot so the dotted terminal must be plus and minus what is that value that value is j4 the j4 is mutual inductance j4 times uh, i3 minus i2 Okay, now I'm going to add or subtract. I need to subtract because because of the self-induced voltages are this terminal has positive, this terminal has negative, but mutual volt induced voltages in the opposite side or opposite sign. So J4 times I3 minus I2. Okay. Now because of the current flowing in L3, there is an induced EMF here. What is that value? That value must be um current i3 is leaving the dot i3 is going in this direction so i3 is leaving the dot so the dotted terminal must be negative so i will end up with a negative and positive um voltage the voltage must be there j4 times i3 now am i going to add or subtract so current so current is leaving the dot so the dotted terminal must be negative here so this must be negative this must be positive they have the opposite sign so this must be j4 times i3 okay now the last one because of the current flowing in l2 there is induced emf there okay current is entering the dot 
the current here is I2, I2 is entering the dot, so the dot terminal must be positive. So the induced voltage across that plus and minus, that must be J8 times I2. So you have the same sign, plus and plus. So this is going to be plus J8 times I2 equal to zero. Okay, I'm saying same positive sign or opposite sign, don't get confused. Say for example, you have an inductor, okay, um, because of self, you have V1 voltage there. Okay, because of mutual, say there is a E1 voltage there. So the assuming end up negative terminal there. And another voltage here as E3. Okay, now when I add up all these three voltages, assuming if that's the current flow direction, I would take V1 plus E3 minus E1. That's the total voltage drop across across that uh, uh, inductance. That's how I'm going to add and subtract. Okay, so this is our loop three equation. Let me simplify that. So when I simplify the loop three equation, I end up with minus four I1 plus J2 I2 plus 12 plus J2 I3 equal to zero. Now equation two and equation three Substitute equation 1. I already know equation 1 I1 equal to 2.83 um, If you substitute I1 value um, You will end up with two unknowns two equations solve those two equations to find I3 Okay, um, the equations are more important. So I'm not going to solve for the rest of the problem uh, will let you do it and At the same time in the exams. I will give you more value to these these equations if as long as all these three equations are right, uh, that's equation three, this is equation two, the big one, I'm talking about the big one, that's equation two, and this is equation one. As long as all these three equations are right, you will get at least 80% of the credit. Say you messed up somewhere, instead of plus here, say you put the minus there. I will take off five points, okay? I might give you this question for 40 points, and instead of plus, if you put the minus there, I will take off uh, five points. So you messed up two, three places, then you will lose lots of points. So please see me if you do not understand this dot convention or send me an email. I can have a, a Zoom conversation with you to explain this concept one more time. Okay. Thank you very much. Next example, I'm going to do the dot convention, but it's going to be Thevenian theorem. Thank you.